What is up, motherfuckers? We got Geek Grand Championship Tournament Qualifying Match. We have the Golden Himbo, as I've named it myself, Anthony Tisdall, uh, versus Albert Weiradharma, who lives in Atlanta, which is, like, I guess an okay city. Um, I like uh, Anthony's nickname. You used to live within vicinity of Albert. I think it's fairly fair. How are you doing, Matthew? I am doing great. Uh, I, you know, got called to host pretty last minute. So I guess uh, I, I have no idea what's going on in geek or fandom anymore. So, <laughs> you know, this should be there, an exciting match. There is a tournament taping. It is currently October. So I don't know when this is going to happen, but <laughs> they want to get in there. Let's go they to do. the promos. I don't know what Spence's problem with Atlanta is. I like the city. Atlanta is cool. Um, also, Anthony definitely wins in the nickname department there. I cannot beat him there. Um, so we'll see what happens here today. I haven't played in Geek in a while. I think my most recent match was a lost. I think I don't remember. But, you know, I'm excited to be here. Always excited to play Geek. So we'll just see what happens. I don't know where my nickname uh, yeah my nickname was created for me i never agreed to it i never said anything about it it has occurred and i have just dealt with it it eh, it kind of fits what am i gonna say uh yeah i haven't played geek in a while either uh i was apparently in a championship match at one point but that was that was my teammate that wasn't me my my singles is i have no idea this the only thing i can hope i do is beat the atlanta guy like the phillies beat atlanta but other than that Let's be honest, he's going to win. Right. Let's get this over with. Whoa, those were promos and nothing else happened. Matthew, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's let's do this. Let's just jump right into it. Uh, round one's going to work like this. You get 10 questions in a variety of geek categories. You have 15 seconds to write your answer down. After 15 seconds, you will present your answer and speak it. Each presenter is worth a point. If you get all 10 correct, you get a bonus question at the end of the round. Also worth a point, and for the duration of this match, you have three repeats. That challenge, Albert, you ready? Mm -hmm. Anthony, you ready? Sure. All right, uh, Matthew, first question. All right, your first question is in the category of MCU. Which MCU movie features a location called the Orgoscope? Uh, I went to one of these in college. Yeah. You know, I could have had, you know, more fun, but I was just happy just to get drinks, a couple sacks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. I realized I probably should be looking at All right, the hands down. No. Let's go to Anthony. I attempted to write quickly Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And Albert. I wrote Eternals. Both in current link for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I knew it was one of the new ones. I just didn't know uh, it was one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Second question coming in Star Wars. What planet is the clone army being created on in Attack of the Clones? I don't know how banter usually how it works in Geek. Like, I feel like. Just like, don't say a name of a movie, but be as annoying as you would be in a regular match. That's my philosophy. So, what if you hosted this match with your clone? You know, probably like making out at one point. Very narcissistic of me. Mm -hmm. Five, yeah, yeah. four, three, two, one. All right, Anthony. Um, Geonosis is a planet, right? And Albert. I said Camino. Camino is correct. Nah. Albert strikes first blood, Rambo shit. <laughs> All right, your next question is in the category of DC. At what type of event do Clark and Lana Lane first see each other at in Superman 3? My phone is so fucking all night. How are you doing? I am doing well. I uh, only went to one class today, and then I had movie trivia. Hell, wait. At Purdue, hey. Purdue, Purdue Club. Oh. Yeah. I didn't see. I didn't see anything get live streamed. That yeah, was yeah. That was last night on campus club. <laughs> Y'all were watching those Adam Sandler movies, Four, right? Three, yeah, definitely two, one. You know me and Adam Sandler. <laughs> Let's go to Albert. I said school reunion. And Anthony. High school reunion. 
Yeah, both correct, right? Yeah. 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 All right. Both correct. Two to one. Next question in Middle Earth. Who is the last character Thorin speaks to before he dies in Battle of the Five Armies? Did you have a good day? Oh, dude, literally. So fun fact, work was so busy. I did not eat my first meal until 7 p.m. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Fun times. I also first meal my of finger. the day is 7 p.m.? Yeah. Don't yeah, work you... in a kitchen, y'all. It fucking sucks. You got, like, little protein bars or something to snack on? <laughs> no, I, I, I DoorDash short rib arancini, which was a pretty good decision. Oh, Five, that sounds pretty good. Four, okay. Three, two, one. Anthony. Bilbo? And Albert. I said Eowyn. Anthony hit a Middle Earth question, y'all. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Tied up, two to two. Uh, I'm baffled. Uh, all right. Your next question is in the category of Star Trek. What specifically is the purpose of the Kobayashi Maru test in Wrath of Khan in Star Trek 09? I had a friend in high school named Kobayashi. Oh, okay. Yes. That's a- that's a cool name. And she went to a junior college, and I never talked to her again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know on, on like YouTube, the culture right now is doxing people. I'm trying to minimize that. But no. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Gonna date this match perfectly. Mm-hmm. Five, four. Well, you know, maybe when this comes out, two, nothing's happened. One, nothing's happened yet. So you're probably right, uh, Albert. Uh, I end up writing a no-win scenario, how one deal under pressure. Okay, and Anthony? Uh, To test the captain's ability to deal with death, the no-win scenario. For sure, okay. Backstage producer, yes, both correct. Okay, yeah. Next question in the DCEU. Who plays Ratcatcher 2 in The Suicide Squad? God damn it. So I finished Survivor One World today. And you started a better season right And then after. I started Philippines because I was like, oh, I didn't realize 25 was, I mean, you know, was so he- hear me out. Both of like the losing finalists in One World should play in other seasons. Mm-hmm. I think they're decent characters, good players, just not, you know, very in control. Yeah. <laughs> Five, Five, four, three, two, one. Anthony? Daniela Melancora? I don't know how to spell her name. Albert. Daniela Melchior? Ah. Albert is correct. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know how to spell her name. Yeah. She's better in Fast Acts anyway. <laughs> oh, fight word. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, all right, your next question is in Mixed Bag. Mm. Which Mixed Bag movie features a character who uses electromagnets to give himself abilities while working as a runner for a drug dealer. What's in the mixed bag list? Have you dealt drugs? I can neither confirm or deny. <laughs> uh, don't, don't want it to, uh, you know, lead myself to the authorities. I, I think we'll truly make it if awful matches are used for like criminal cases. I wonder how many crimes have been um, five, four. What's the end of that sentence? <laughs> yeah, Yo, you'll, you'll. I don't know. I, I'm not gonna say anything. All right, Albert. I just said Judge Thread. And Anthony. I just said the only one I know is on there. Push. It is one with one word. It is slight. Oh, that's a good movie too. Damn it. Mm. Okay. Next question is in Sci-Fi Killers. Linda Hamilton. Physically appears in how many sci-fi killers movies? I know who wrote the document because of how this category is spelled. Oh yes. Okay. <laughs> um, Big laugh from David backstage. I still got it. <laughs> <laughs> I. This is my first time looking at a geek doc. Really? Never hosted before. Huh. I've well, heard. Yeah. We use sheets. It's better. Five, four. Definitely. I, I agree with that. Four. You're doing an Anthony. excellent job, too. Anthony. Uh, three. And Albert. I also said three. Three is correct. All right. Your 
penultimate question is in the category of Marvel. Which musical artist is performing at the Unity Day Festival in 2002's Spider-Man? If anyone could perform at a music festival for you, who would it be and why would it be Lofi? Lofi. 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 Yeah, you are correct. I, I I would love to see Lofi in the concert. I she went to San Diego like a few years ago and I wanted to buy tickets and, and, and I didn't. It's a jazz have, artist, Anthony. Oh, I was like, I have no <laughs> idea who you're talking about. I've never Three, heard this in my life. Two, one. Uh, uh, Albert. I have no clue. I wrote Billy Joel. And Anthony. I believe she tried to say goodbye, Macy Gray. That is correct. Tie game. So we get to your last question in Wizarding World. How does Gringotts Goblin Bogrod die in Deathly Hallows Part 2? So anyway, I, fi I finished uh, Leve's album oh, on the okay. right here. Yes. Um, it's great. It is a little top heavy, I think. Like those first four songs are fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think it's so good. It's just not like the high high. I agree. Know? Yeah, yeah. No, Most sure. albums are like that. <laughs> like the Rise and Fall of a Midwest Princess. Stream Chapel Roan <laughs> for all like three of the homosexuals in the audience. You know you will like it. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Dave looks very confused. Anthony. Oh I, well, that was just thinking actually. Uh, was he eaten by something? And Albert. I said die via dragon fire. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. Getting a lead going into round two, six to five. Get it as well. Yes. All right, six to five as we go to round two, which is round two. I don't know if there's a word for it. I don't know if uh, <laughs> there's three categories for this match. Each player removed a category from randomization and three got randomized in. Those three today being Star Trek, Wizarding World, and Quotes. The player in the league will, will choose if they want to pick a category first or second and choose to answer if they want to answer questions first or second. Uh, there are five questions per category, so we're two points. And multiple choice for one point, and then oh shit, Tuki the corner stealing is available round number two. Uh, Albert, what category would you like to take today? Uh, let's go, let's go with Wizarding World. Okay, so Ant, uh, I guess, wait, I didn't give the option. Fuck, oh, uh, did you want to pick first or second? Yeah, you want to pick first or second, Albert? I'll pick first. Okay. <laughs> Everything works. All right. And would you like to uh, answer questions first or second? Uh, I'll go second. Okay. Uh, Anthony, what category would you like? Hmm. I wonder which one's going to round three. Uh, yeah, I'll take track. Okay. Um, Matthew, which category do you want to ask? I feel like uh, a good question. I, I didn't take a look at round two before, but um... second. I'll take Star Trek, I guess. I feel like there's just easier words than Wizarding World. <laughs> okay, um, you said you said you said you take Star, Star Trek. <clears throat> yeah, I'll take Star Trek. All right, so um, which means you're okay. going to go first and ask Anthony his questions. All right, your first question in Star Trek: Which Star Trek movie features the main villain destroying two stars? Um. Star Trek uh, Generations. That is correct for two points. All right, your next question. Who plays Klingon Commander Kruge in The Search for Spock? Um, Christopher Lloyd. That is correct for two points. Your third question. In Star Trek Into Darkness, what type of disaster are the Enterprise crew trying to prevent on the planet Nibiru? A volcano. That is correct for two points. Your penultimate question in Star Trek. What name is given to the city on Nimbus 3 in Star Trek V The Final Frontier? Multiple choice. Is it A, the city of peace? B, Shaka Ri, C, Paradise City, or D, Amargosa? Uh, B. 
Uh, you said B? B, Shakari. Uh, that is incorrect oh, for sure. a one point steal. Is it A, the city of peace? B, Shakari? C, Paradise City? Or D, Amargosa? Between two. I'm going to go with A. A is also incorrect. We were looking for C, Paradise City. The fuck was Shakari then? I know that's in there. It's in the film too. Yeah, that is in <laughs> That's all it is. Uh, all right. And your final question is, Star Trek. Who accompanies Zephram Cochran and Riker in the Phoenix Warp Flight in Star Trek First Contact? Um, Jordy. That is correct for two points. Okay. So Anthony up to 13? 13 is what I have, yes. All right, and which means, Albert, now you get your questions in Wizarding World. Are you ready? Mm hmm All right, your <laughs> first question. Which Wizarding, Wizarding, fuck, which Wizarding World movie features an organization called the New Salem Preservation Society? Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Correct for two points. Who provides the voice of Dobby in Chamber of Secrets? Toby Jones. Correct. In Deathly Hallows Part 1, it is revealed that Dumbledore left two objects to Harry in his will. The first snitch he ever caught and what else? Godric Gryffindor's sword. Correct for two points. Which character is the second to successfully call their broom during the flying lesson in the Philosopher's Stone? Ooh, second. I have a guess, but I'm going to go multiple choice here to be safe. All right. Options are A, Draco, B, Ron. C, Hermione, or D, Neville? Draco. All right, for one point in a tie game. Final question. In Crimes of Grindelwald, what type of location is Para La Chase, where Grindelwald holds his rally? A cemetery. That is correct for two points. Which means the score is then 15 to 13. Yes, that is what I have. All right. Now we get to round three. Y'all like quotes so much. You get questions here. You get a two, yeah. three, and five yeah. point question till someone is mathematically eliminated or you run out of questions. Anthony, he asked you oh. your questions last round. So I'm going to ask him this round. Cool. Albert, would you like questions from set one or set two? Let's do set one. All right. <clears throat> two. Okay. Anthony, are you are you ready for your questions from quotes? Ready as I will be. All right. First question. Which MCU character says the quote, you and I remember Budapest very differently? Hawkeye. Okay for two points back to albert all right albert your mm -hmm. question quotes okay which star wars character says the quote only a sith deals in absolutes i will do what i must Five, four, Obi Wan Kenobi. That is correct for two points. Right. Anthony, your three point question. In which mixed bag movie will you hear the quote, maybe there was a party at the zoo and a monkey fucked a fish? 
what? Um, God, again, I probably should have looked up the mixed bag movies. Um, all right. Where in what movie could there be a fish Five, monkey? Four. Uh, three, I'll repeat one. Two. All right. First repeat. In which mixed bag movie will you hear the quote? Maybe there was a party at the zoo and a monkey fucked a fish. <laughs> wow. Um, what the fuck could this be? Five. Uh, I don't know. Four. Avatar. I'm not going to waste it. I don't know. Incredibly for Attack the Block. Oh, another good movie that I haven't seen in 20 years. Okay. Your five point question in quotes. Are you ready? Oh, God. Don't be mixed bag then yet. What is the last line spoken by Rick Flagg in The Suicide Squad? Looking for four words. <sighs> Oh, shit. Five, four, three. Repeat. All right, second repeat. What is the last line spoken by Rick Flagg in The Suicide Squad? Looking for four words. Oh, uh, I. Uh, I have an idea. I'm going to be pissed because I think this is going to be close. I think. Um, five, Peacemaker, four, what a joke. That is correct for five points. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, all right. So uh, we'll now go to Albert to possibly tie up the game with his three pointer. Okay. All right. Your question is, which Marvel movie features the quote, darling, if you save the world, you can have a backstage pass? King's Spend the Secret Service? That is incorrect. It's Kingsman, the Golden Circle. Oh, okay. Ugh. Oh my God. Well, at least we're not going to overtime. <laughs> so no sudden in that, but uh, Albert will have to hit his five pointer to win the game. And your five pointer in quotes is, what is the first line spoken by Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Terminator? Oh. And it's five words. Five. Four. Let's use a repeat. So I can get another hand up, Albert. Oh, all right. yeah. Thank you. Um, all right, your repeat. What is the first line spoken by Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Terminator? Five words. Five, four. Repeat the question. Okay, using another repeat. What is the first line spoken by Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Terminator for five words? I don't think I'm going to get this. Good game, Anthony. Um, citizen, give me your clothes. And your winner, Anthony Tisdall. Looking for nice night for a walk. Oh. Nice night That's for hard. a walk. Mm -hmm. Going to post match interviews starting with our second place finisher, Albert. Which, let's be honest, round three quotes is a death knell for everybody. Someone had to win. Anthony won today, but you still put up a very good performance in those first two rounds. Thank you. Uh, How are you doing? Yeah, no, um, no, that yeah, that quotes that I I don't think I've 
uh, I don't think I would have gotten that Terminator quote any day. Uh, I was literally thinking the variety of him asking for the person's clothes or something like that. Uh, and the Kingsman question, my first instinct was like, okay, Secret Service. And then I didn't even think twice about Golden Circle because I guess that it, it, that happened again. So yeah, that was a blunder on my end. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, Anthony, Anthony played a great game. Uh, I think either, if I if I had went Star Trek, I think the results might have been the same either way because I think I would perform just equally, I think. Uh, but yeah, no, Anthony Anthony played a great game. Uh, he's, a, he's a great competitor. He definitely undersell himself there in the opening. Um, but yeah, no, it was it was it was fun. Uh, great game, Anthony. Yeah. So uh, obviously, I believe this means that you are out of the tournament, or you're just a lower seed. I don't know. David can correct me if he knows. Yeah. Um. Matter what, though, you're gonna play again. So when you come back. Who do you want to beat up in a parking lot? Oh, okay. So we're playing in a parking lot next time. <laughs> um, so ideally, someone who have a last cool nickname because I'm intimidated by the by Anthony's nickname. I think uh, Anthony got the mental edge over me because of that nickname already prior to the match. So if we can get a competitor with a lame nickname next time, that will help yeah. me mentally, you know? So yeah. Like the Grim Eater. Yeah. <laughs> they Grim Eater is kind of cool, today. too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, no, thank you. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Yeah. We'll go to Anthony. You had a fucking five-pointer in quotes, dude. Holy no, shit. <laughs> yeah, that caught me off guard, too. I'm not going to lie. I'm uh, about, like, you, you were beating yourself a lot coming into here today, and you mm-hmm. kept pace with Albert the whole match until you superseded him. Like, good on you. I mean, if you've watched any of my matches and anything ever, you know I'm always going to undersell myself because that's what I do best. Um no, Albert played great. Uh, he had me in round one. He was doing well. He crushed the Wizard League world. And like you said, quotes is just kind of, it's hit or miss. And he had a really tough quote. I had one that it was there. I had like 10 different things going through my head, but I had the right general order and just picked the right one. Um, yeah, that, I mean, it's fun. I didn't know that a, a himbo was anything that's intimidating. Uh, <laughs> it's not. I can promise you that. Don't worry about it. Uh, but I'll take it if it intimidates someone. Great, good. Uh, I take every edge I can. I'll need it. So you're in the tournament. Not only that, you have a positive record. Oh, I do. So you're going to be like a pretty decent seed uh, coming into that. Oh, so that's fun. Who would you want to play? Potentially being the higher seed. I just uh, the lowest seed, like someone that shouldn't even be there, someone that's like 0 and 10 that you can just throw in a tournament to give me like a free match. I don't know. I don't know. Just I, not anyone like in like I don't want to play Bobby C. I please no. I don't you know what? Fuck it. I'll play Kaiser. Let's just fuck it. Look, bring me Kaiser. Let's just talk shit the whole game and he can kick my ass. But fuck him. Let's go. <laughs> that's it. I love the strategy of just <laughs> wanting to murder your friends. I, I attribute it. I big fan. Every time I call out Spence. Yeah. And we <laughs> fight each other in an alleyway. Not a parking lot. There's a little gauche. Uh, so thank you for being here, uh, Anthony. We'll see you when you beat up Kaiser, I guess. That's how it's going to go. <laughs> Talk to you then. Pretty good match today. Very, very evenly matched competitors, even though I think both of them were coming in very negative. Mm-hmm. No, I agree. I, I think... Um, both players who I kind of underestimate, I think, or Anthony really underestimated himself today. And by, you know, quotes in round three is, is always really tough. Uh, Albert was like right there with that three pointer, but, uh, wasn't able to tie the game up. So, uh, yeah, I think this was a great match. Absolutely. Uh, let's wrap this up so I can eat dinner at 11 PM. Uh, thank you to Albert and Anthony. Thank you to Matthew. Thank you to David for hanging out backstage, even though it's like fucking, Five in the morning for him, I think. And thank you, lovely viewer, for hanging out with us tonight or in the afternoon, whenever the fuck this comes out. Stay and stay, stay inside, punch Nazis, drink your water. Uh, we'll see you next week or tomorrow. How the fuck this works? Peace. <laughs>